And we're going to move on to MP Motorsport. Kyle Collette, Alexander Smolia, Kush Maney, and a brief cameo by Filippo Gren, who made a return. But MP Motorsport, 195 points, fourth in the championship. A couple of wins, bunch of podiums. Um, a weird team, I feel. Like, it, the drivers did well. They didn't do great. They didn't do bad. They did well. Josh, yeah. help me out. What, what Did it go wrong? <laughs> did it go well? Did this exactly where they needed to be? Is this what we expected from MP this year? Kyle Collette is the weirdest freaking driver to me. Like, um, you get the sense that the kid's fast, but he never seems to get freaking results. You know, it's, it's just the weirdest thing to me. Um, some that always sticks out to me is Belgium last year, where he decided that the best thing to do in a wet track in Belgium was to go full bore on the grass, which I thought if that even went slightly wrong, you've got the worst accident in the world. And I would have given him a vacation for that, but he's got speed. That's for sure. It just never seems to pan out in terms of results. Um, you know, I think some of us would have expected him he would go for the title this year. Mm. It just never worked out. He just never what ended up getting there. Um, which just you know, it's like uh, once again, like all the speed and we can see it, but there's nothing to show for it in the end of the day. Smolia is turning into the marker off of freaking Formula Three, <laughs> like. This is like go up to Formula Two if you got the budget. Um, get a racing license from Kyrgyzstan, like uh, Kirill Smile does. Like, just get it over with, man. Rip the band aid off. Um, and then you had Kushmini, who showed some good, good performances. Um, but he needs to learn to hold the brake next time whenever he's, you know, spun around instead of rolling back into traffic causing a red flag and ruining the end of the championship. But, you know, why? no, we won't get into that. Um, yeah, honestly, Kaio was the better of all drivers this year, but I think, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Like, I think I was expecting a bit more of all of them, the mm. team as a whole. They just... We never quite got, you know, what we were expecting, or at least, um, yeah, I don't know. It's it a bit of a weird team, a bit of a weird set of drivers in a way. I'd say consistent, I, 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 I'd I say, know. though. They, like, all, all, of, all three of them, top 14, Kushmani was 14th place, and then Smolia, Collette, top 10 by the end of the championship. Just cons- the yeah, points. They just picked so, up points over and over. Yeah, but with... Kyo and Smolia, you would have to think they'd be going up to Formula Two next year, budget pending. Um, you know, like they don't stand to gain anything out of staying in Formula Three for another year. Because, like, okay, you reckon you're going to win the title? Cool. I don't think anyone's going to care. Um, you know, go to Formula Two at least. Try your luck there. Um. You literally do need to luck in that championship, but you know, still, they'll be treading water if they stayed in in Formula Three for another year. I think they've both of them proved they can drive, they can drive at Formula Three level, but a title wouldn't achieve much for them. So, yeah, as for Miami, maybe he does need that extra year, but yeah, overall, yeah, uh, I don't know. I think. I think they were missing that sort of extra 5% in a way, um, all of them. But yeah, I'll be interested to see how each of them go next year.